Hello from the International Admissions Office in Cattolica and welcome to this Getting Ready for Academic Year 2020-2021 set of useful guidelines. We are so excited you've decided to stick to your goals and join Cattolica despite the pandemic year. Well done, kudos to you. This is a pre-beginning of academic year sort of FAQ checklist. The truth, guys, is that making prediction about the future is really hard. COVID-19 surprised everyone and even the most organized and developed entities have had to reorganize quickly and efficiently. But we've tried to capture some key points to help you feel guided along the way. So here goes. So what's the situation in Italy? Well, we were the first country in Europe to get hit with COVID-19 and our government took it very seriously from the start. So, so far, we're one of the countries reacting best and getting to normality fastest. We still wear masks when we're inside places and we respect social distancing. But bars and restaurants, museums, open air cinemas and clubs and gyms are open. And we've even started to travel nationally too. Pre-enrollment, an essential step for non-EU nationals only. The pre-enrollment procedure for all programmes is online through the portal www.universitali.it. A step-by-step -step guide has been posted on our post-admission webpage. So you can go to your programme's webpage to find this, go to the last tab, post-admission, and go down to section number four to find such guide. You simply have to create an account, insert personal data and upload all relevant documents, after which the university will need to approve the pre-enrollment. Approving the pre-enrollment online is required to issue the visa, and we will, as university, do this on the same portal. It's always best to refer to the local Italian embassy for anything that is visa-related, appointments, additional documents required, etc. In fact, we also strongly recommend that you check if there are specific requirements in your local embassy or consulate. For example, you may need a specific score in your English language proficiency, even if we admitted you with a lesser score. Visas are required to formally enroll and allow non-EU students to enter the country as soon as borders reopen. According to the decision of the local Italian authorities, and it may change from country to country, it can be as soon as the visa is issued or later on. For both EU and non-EU students, regardless of a study visa or not, our advice is keep in touch with your local Italian embassy or consulate for updates. Online classes. Cattolica's slogan this year is everything possible in person, everything necessary remotely. The university will in fact guarantee all classes online for the whole of the first semester for students who can't reach campus. And classes will be live for students to be able to interact with professors and record it for them to attend at the most convenient moment. Students are already receiving some updates on this regard and will receive all necessary further ones about the way classes will be delivered for the specific programme. Catholica prides herself on not being a telematic university and we can't wait to resume classes in presence. However, the challenges the pandemic presented us with in having to go online have been taken as an opportunity to innovate. And during all of the summer, Catholica is investing to ensure that you have the best possible start to online learning. Four online teaching scenarios have been defined. The dual mode, the professors present in the classroom with some students in presence and others connected remotely. The lesson is available in streaming as well as being recorded and then made available on Blackboard for students who are not present. The online interactive lecture. This entails the professor will not be present in the classroom, but in accordance with the timetable, it will be broadcast for all students who use the virtual classroom platform. The lecture will be available as a video file on Blackboard after the lesson. A talking head which means the professor records the lesson in advance and releases it on his or her's blackboard. Voiceover presentation. The professor creates audio content, slides with audio comment and or podcast, and releases the material on their blackboard. 
so that students can watch and listen to it. What about attending on campus? There may be limitations for attending classes on campus, as each classroom will have a limited capacity in accordance with current legislation and Universita Católica's health and safety protocols in order to guarantee social distancing. All students present on campus from September will be assigned to group number and you will be able to access campus and the various services on those days only. The university has developed an application for you to book your place and you will receive updates and instructions nearer the time. Accommodation. We suggest that you wait to book your accommodation until you have the certainty of when you can travel to Italy. You can refer to websites such as www.viaggiaresicuri.it, it is in Italian only, for the most up-to-date information or, of course, refer to your local Italian embassy or consulate. If you've already booked a place, make sure you're aware of a refund policy in case you have to postpone or cancel the arrival. You can find suggestions about accommodation on our website too, on international.unicot.it. This is an example of a screenshot of our website where you can find accommodation options. Each campus has its own dedicated accommodation web page. Travel insurance is useful if you plan on traveling with your most precious possessions, such as a laptop or documents such as passport and credit cards. Your travel insurance may also cover medical expenses and evacuation in case of an emergency, so it may be worth considering. Similarly, when booking flights, we suggest you get the most flexible option that allows for changes or refunds. About health insurance. If you are a citizen from an EU member state, you are covered for emergencies by the Italian national health system by showing your European health insurance card. If you will be staying with us though for more than three months, we do recommend that you transfer your national health insurance coverage to the Italian health service, the Sistema Sanitario Nazionale, for the period of your stay. Details are on our website and will be given upon enrollment too. Of course, there is always the option of getting a private health insurance ready in your home country as well. For non-EU students, an insurance policy is compulsory when you apply for a permit of stay for study purposes and often your local consulate or embassy may require that you purchase one at the time of obtaining your visa. You can opt for a private provider offering coverage in Italy already in your own home country and when you arrive in Italy get extra coverage by the Welcome Association Italy, the WAI, which primarily covers emergency care and costs €120 Euros for one year. The policy will be valid only after applying for the residence permit. When you get to Italy, we also strongly suggest registering to the National Health Service because it entitles international students to the same treatment as Italian citizens. Upon your arrival in Italy, the admissions office will guide you in buying a healthcare insurance. Italian language course. Regardless of whether you're coming to join us on an English taught or an Italian taught program, the fact of the matter is that if you can learn some basic Italiano, this will help you infinitely in settling in, in finding a part-time job, an internship, and simply just overall ensuring to get a better experience. Some of you may have Italian language as part of your program already, but if you want to learn more, or if it's not part of your program, you can access the free self-learning linguistic lab that our language center, the CELDA, offers, or join the paid Italian language courses. If you're super eager and want to use the summer in a productive way, start learning through the many apps available and learn at your own pace. To summarize, it is a complicated year but we're here to make it as easy and smooth for you as possible. So here are our last tips. First, check your email regularly, both your inbox and your spam or junk folders. Two, get in touch when you have problems or doubts. Don't wait. 
The university is closed from the 10th to the 21st of August inclusive, so there might be a delay in answering. It's better if you get in touch first. Last but not least, relax this summer and enjoy home. We certainly can't wait to have you on board and start your academic career with us after summer, whether in presence or online. Until then, take care and stay safe.